Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to do .NET microservices uh, with ABP using a .NET template. So what is the reason for this video? So right now, it's not a easy thing to create the microservices using ABP. I have made a YouTube series and also a blog series uh, explaining how to create a microservice application uh, with ABP. It's a tedious process. It's uh, split into 12 parts. So um, in this video, uh, I will show you how to simplify this uh, uh, into a couple of commands. So what I have done is I went through and then created uh, a .NET template out of the repo I created for the series. So let's see how to create a microservice application within a few minutes. Before that, if you want, if you like the videos like this, or if you want me to make more content, please make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm a new channel with very low subscribers and only 5% of the people who see my videos are subscribed. So it will help the channel a little bit. So please consider subscribing. Okay, so what is the status of this uh, .NET template? It's, it's in the very early stages. I just created the sample application and I thought, okay, this is like a very tedious process. How do I simplify this? And then I created a microservice template out of it. And that's where it is right now. You can use it. You can create a, um, the entire application with this template and skip the entire 12 parts. Uh, but I would still go and recommend uh, you watch uh, those videos to understand what's actually going on because this will set up four or five solutions. Uh, you can easily get lost here. So uh, these are the prerequisites. Uh, I have .NET 7 installed. You should need uh, Node.js uh, for NPM packages. I'm using PostgreSQL. So the template only has one option right now. It's pretty easy to change uh, if you want to. And um, I'm using RabbitMQ uh, for the message communication, Redis for cache. And you also need to install the ABP CLI uh, to run ABP commands. And then tie is optional. So yeah, do install that or don't install it. That's up to you. Um, yeah, that's simple introductions. So if you go to the um, repository here, yeah. So here is the um, repo and uh, yeah, this is the Nougat pack. So you can copy this dot not new command and then open the cli and then just do it and uh yeah so right now i already had 1.1.2 and it's been updated to 1.1.3 and you can see this is the short name of the cli and it's using c sharp these are the tags it doesn't matter so once you have the cli installed the next step is to just check all the um, templates which are installed it will list all the templates along with that you will also see the new template you just installed so once that is done let's go and create a folder and then create our application okay i created a folder called microservices here and i will copy and then paste this command which will create my microservices for me it can take a couple of minutes and we are done so if you do ls you have uh, my microservice and then clear and open the things in vs code i will zoom in as you can see we have our apps folder that is a gateway that is services and then the shared um so if you are following along uh the blog post series which i have done this is the structure i have used uh and the only new thing from the blog post series is uh instead of using angular i have used uh the blazor application as well and then the blazor application application is included in, in the type file so you can come and then see that the blazor application is running in the port 5000 um, and everything is set up um, for the default run basically so what you can do is you can create a new terminal and then uh, try to build a solution just type uh, .NET build this will build a project for us uh, hopefully we don't see any error okay so the first build a while it almost took one minute to build complete um depending upon your system configuration it can happen faster or sooner so uh if you are new here um welcome uh, so i'm going to explain the basic uh, architecture here we have a gateway and gateway has a bunch of configurations um i'm using yarp uh, as my reverse proxy so every request comes in 
uh, through YARP, and then YARP routes uh, the request to either identity cluster, uh, account, SAS. So yeah, based on the parameters, it just um, changes the destination it contacts. So uh, for SAS, it will contact the destination localhost 7003 for account 7002 uh, for identity 7002 and for the main that's the administration service that's 7001 so we have like three microservices uh running in front of a gateway and we have a uh, auth server here which is where all the authentication um, happens we are using open um, not identity server anymore because uh in the um, 12 part series I have used identity server. I have migrated uh, and did a part 13 of that series on how to migrate from identity server and then to open it. Go to the blog post, you will see it. And then um, here we have a Blazor application. So one main thing you have to understand is this, all the DB migration is done in DB migrator. And let's say if you want to add a new service, there is a new service episode in the 12 plot blog series. I think it still applies. You can um, use that. I will think of ideas on how to add a new service automatically, but um, yeah, that's way in the future. So right now, these are the clients we, we have. So my microservice web, Blazor, and app and swagger so we have all the things which we need uh let's go and then try to run the db migrator and then see what happens so i will close this change this and clear a little bit and dot net run so what this db migrator has is it has reference to all the ef core projects so it can go through and then do the migration for all the projects and then run the migrations for you i know that is a lot of magic happening behind which is not ideal okay there is some error which says uh yeah i don't have the database so it should create it just is if the postgres is complaining that i don't have the database so it will create and then automatically does the migration for me okay so if i run the migrations again it should not complain because right now um it already created the databases yes yes it did not complain so that's Great news. Uh, I'm going to use Thai to run the project. If you don't have Thai, you just have to go and then run um, everything manually. So how do you run it? The first thing you run is the odd server because everything depends on the odd server. And then uh, you, you have to run all the services, administration, identity, SAS. And once you run that, then you run the um, Blazor app. Once you run the Blazor app and then you run the gateway. So this is why it's better to use Thai because in Thai it's just one command. Otherwise you just go and run a bunch of applications which can be tedious. Uh, yes. So let's do Thai run watch. And yeah, on the first launch, it can take a while because it has to load all the configurations and then build again and then run. Yeah, I know the developer experience is not great, uh, but that's how it works with microservices. Uh, when you have like five services running, can take some. Okay, my tie has launched. Um, it's running on port 8000. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have our administration, identity, SAS, auth server, gateway, and blazor. So yeah, you can go and then check out each and everything one by one, or you can just go and then check out the blazor application because blazor application uses every service uh, which is available. And our blazor app has landed let's log in okay i forgot to do one thing i forgot to install the libs so whenever you see the application that bundle blah 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 is not found because uh abp team changed how they uh distribute the js and css files so there is this new command called abp inst install libs so this command will just go and then delete all your not delete install all your uh, npm up packages uh you, you can do this in the root directory so that it goes and uh, installs the package in each and every subfolder so it will check uh, the package manager uh, or no 
it will check the package.json file inside all the subfolders that means all the uh, services gateway and also uh, all the apps folder so if you have a package.json it will install the packages for you i think i should update the blog post with that command oh i already have it so i just forgot to install okay our packages are installed now pick two let's try again okay the blazor application has loaded again now let's try to log in okay this time login page loads i will use the default password oh, my keyboard configuration changed now i think we should log in yes the login was successful the blazor app is reloading and we have our login successful so i can see the tenant management and there is identity you should see a admin role wow and permissions perfect uh you also see the users and permission so this is the new leptonx theme which looks pretty good um yeah so that is the basic introduction of um the new .NET template uh, so you just created a full-blown microservice application with a ui uh, in blazor uh, running fully and uh, now you can just focus on whatever the product you're building you don't have to set up the service one by one if you're a ABP commercial customer these are all the things which comes for free but uh, if you are just using the open source uh, solution there is no ah, .NET new microservice and uh, yeah I hope this will help you to get started on your uh, Microsoft service application and saves you some time so one thing to keep in mind is that um, you, you can only use one step right now if you use two steps it will work but some places you have to manually rename so just keep in mind um yeah that's pretty much it from me uh if you like the video just give it a thumb give it a thumbs up if you don't like it uh yeah just give me a comment and then uh, if you like the repository and if you want me to do something extra uh, other than what I have already done, um, maybe come and give a star or, or create an issue here. Um, um, I think I set out to reach these goals and I have already done that. Uh, if, if you need something else, um, just add a suggestion or if you think you can make things better, send me a PR. I'm happy to uh, merge a PR. Yeah, that's it from me. Uh, have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye.